This particular piece has a lot of cortex on it, but uh, I chose it because of the light color. I probably won't make an arrowhead out of this one. It's got a lot of uh, chalky material lift left in it. There's a there's some good spots in here, but not very many. And I'm going to lose some of that because of this cortex on the outside here that I need to remove. I'm going to do some work on this smaller preform. I'll zoom out.
Okay, so hopefully that's clear. Um, this is not where I normally nap. I nap over there in my napping pit where I have all my debitage. But this chair is about the, about the height that I, I like to sit at. It's uh, smaller than a normal fold-up chair. And sometimes I put my foot on my braiding stone, but as you can see, usually all I do is raise my heel to raise my knee high enough so I can clamp the tool behind my knee. The uh, main complaint that I have about this technique is the ability to hold the tool behind the knee. So if you're going to use the technique, you'll have to figure out a way to uh, make your knee high enough or maybe you can even put some sort of an elastic band or a strap to hold the tool in place because the tool has to be held fairly rigid when you're working. I do apply some pressure upward sometimes but not all the time. I'd say maybe half the time there's some pretty good pressure behind it especially with a larger workpiece. With a small workpiece like this there's not much pressure uh, before the strike. There's hardly any. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea. Hopefully this is more clear than my previous videos. I know when I used a dark background before, uh, I had a dark arrowhead, so that wasn't too smart. So hopefully this will work better. Okay, that's it.